This I believe that miracles do exist, and on March 20th, 2003, a miracle is born. Andrew James Collett is my hero. Andrew has endured so much, even before a year of life. He was born premature by six weeks at three pounds, 11 ounces. With his first week of life, he was diagnosed with necrotizing enterocolitis, NEC. NEC is when the intestinal tissue dies. With premature babies, this disease can kill them easily. Andrew was then placed in an incubator for just under a month. I remember visiting him over spring break and holding him in my arms. He was no bigger than a kitten. He may have survived it, but it seemed the horrors were not through yet. Andrew was brought home Easter weekend. It felt so good to have my little brother where he belonged. He was home. On April 20th, 2003, Easter Sunday, my parents were feeding my brother as I was getting ready to sleep. I laid there for some time, feeling as if it w something was not right. All of a sudden, I heard panic and chaos downstairs. I went downstairs to find my neighbor standing there and my mom heading to the garage. My father was already gone. I had no idea what was going on. My neighbor then explained that my brother was on the way to the hospital. He had apparently stopped breathing. My father gave Andrew the baby version of CPR and then rushed to the hospital with my brother in his arms. I remember not being able to see that at all. The next morning, my mother explained to me that Andrew had been moved over to the Alma Hospital. I had no idea what was going on, and I didn't understand. We went to visit him, and he was laying there helplessly. The doctor said, told my parents that he had contracted a case of pneumonia. Andrew was, yet again, put at risk of death. He stayed there for a week before he was cleared to go home. A miracle graced us again, and we lived through that scare as well. Andrew's fully grown and on a great track. He's strong, smart, and amazing. I am proud to be his older sister. I will never forget how scared I was during his first months of life. But I am also thankful for them. Without them, I would not have my amazing little brother. He is my miracle, my hero, my Andrew. He's a great example of this simple, simple fact. Miracles can happen. All you have to do is believe.